Rachel Holt for Nesson Fuel alongside Craig Fitzgerald of BestRide.com. Behind us is the 2017 Dodge Challenger GT. It's a very good looking car, but we're interested in how it runs too. So Craig, what's your favorite feature about this car? Well, so the GT new for 2017, it's the all wheel drive, uh, which allows you to have a muscle car like this, but drive it in New England where it snows half of the year. So uh, what scared a lot of people about these cars earlier on was that you could only get it in rear drive. So the all-wheel drive definitely makes it an all-wheel, all-weather uh, condition kind of a muscle car. Let's talk about the inside of this car. It's actually very spacious for a car of this type. Yep, for a, you know, it's a real five-seat coupe, which is rare. You usually don't see. If you want to get five people in something, you're usually limited to a to a, a sedan. But this has got room for at least four adults, and if you're really close to each other, you can get five in there. And an adult male like you can fit comfortably in the back seat. Yeah, not a ton of leg room, but a lot more than in a Mustang or a Camaro for sure. And decent trunk space too. Now we got a chance to ride in this car and what I was interested in is the display. I thought that was a very great way of laying everything out. For you, uh, what's the best part about how they presented everything in this car? Dodge did a really good job. Um, infotainment technology can be really confusing and be really busy on the dashboard, but Dodge did a really good job laying it out and then using redundant controls like big volume controls and heat controls um, in their own little segment so that you can you know really adjust them as you drive without having to look away from the road so i think they did a great job with it and i love the dashboard too and the most important thing for buyers how much is this car going to cost us this one equipped this way is about thirty eight thousand um, dollars you can get it a little bit cheaper than that which is about competitive with the rear drive v8 version of this this has got a 307 horsepower v6 that's affordable for something like this. Affordable, yeah, not horrible. Not uh, bad. Yeah, yeah, and considering a pickup truck costs $50,000 now. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, well, uh, you can find more from Craig on bestride.com, and as always, check out nessandfuel.com. <laughs>